Hello everyone, on today's episode, I am excited to inform you that I will be reviewing a flavor that was released 20 years ago and then discontinued two years later. So this will be by far the oldest flavor I have tasted. That being said, the the one before that was like 13 years old, the Diet Cherry Chocolate in a, an older video of mine. So today it's, it's going to be quite the journey. Uh, that's right, Dr. Pepper Red Fusion, I have no idea what this tastes like. I don't recall ever drinking this before. Uh, I had scoured the internet trying to find just an empty bottle or can to add to my collection to complete that. I was not expecting to find this person willing to part with a still filled, still unopened Dr. Pepper Red Fusion bottle. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what else to say. No idea what to expect. May not be good. Who knows? Maybe it'll have stood the test of time. I, I don't know. Maybe someone will knock on my door and Tell me I, I can't drink this. I, I don't know, but if, if you made it this far, I thank you for joining me. This is going to be quite the adventure. So without further ado, let's open this up and see what 20 years of well-preserved Dr. Pepper Red Fusion tastes like. If I can even open this. I did not hear any fizz, so this is probably going to be sugar water at this point. Um, so yeah, here goes. Oh. <clears throat> Growing up, you had those little ice cream packets and the long, thin cylinder things, and you would freeze them and whatnot and be like one, one large popsicle thing. This tastes like one of those red ones. Uh, probably because there's like no carbonation left in this thing. It's super sweet. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure I feel like a hummingbird right now with how sugary sweet this this is. Um, one flavor stands out for sure, and that is cherry, which I guess makes sense because this, this flavor came out before Dr. Pepper Cherry did or even the cherry vanilla. So I'm wondering if this was their, their test run in trying to capitalize on that cherry flavor that already existed in Dr. Pepper. Um, based on how this is, it's actually not too bad, but it is, it is by far the flattest thing I have ever consumed in my life. Still tastes good though. Um, I kind of wish I could go back in time and have one of these fresh, fully carbonated and all that jazz, but uh, I will probably finish this off later. But thank you all so much for watching and joining me on this unexpected journey of this wonderful Red Fusion flavor. As always, thanks for watching and I will catch you all next time.